good. It wasn't just myself doing the bad parent walk of shame. Uh, my friend was there taking her child's homework in, which she's blatantly done herself this morning and then dropped in and be like, oh yeah, here's his homework. Anyway, uh, there's no one behind me. Should we try a little 0 to 60? This is gonna be hilarious because I ain't gonna be able to stop the wheels from spinning, but that's the fun of this car. Right, zero, uphill. Second gear, still spinning. I'm already having more fun than I was in the T5 and I'm going a lot slower. It's all the noise. Oh, I missed that gear change, but it doesn't matter. 70 miles an hour, national speed limit road. Into the corner and it's bouncing on the curves. Drop down into second gear, get the power on for the corner. I can feel the front wheel slipping. We're going into another corner now, it's a left-hander. And then we go into a long straight where I can get the power down. I can't get the power down there because I'm going into oncoming traffic and I'm only doing 60 mile an hour. Miss that gear change again. Into third gear, accelerating. We're coming down on the back of a Mitsubishi L200 and we're gonna have a massive crash at 65 miles an hour. Right, if that didn't sell you on this car, then I don't know what will. It's a big, heavy estate car with quite a large engine, no turbo, no catalytic converter, and a manual gearbox. It's got utterly shonky suspension, so it bounces around like anything, and it honestly is one of the most fun cars that you can drive because it's not that fast. Speed is dead. Why would you want to go fast? You're all these supercars that can do almost 200 mile an hour or more than 200 mile an hour. What is the fucking point in that? The roads are shit. They're full of idiots. They're full of potholes. They're full of muddy puddles for 75% of the year. What you want is a Volvo 850 estate with a manual gearbox and not very good tires. All the fun of the fair. I've done my car review and it's taken me two minutes and I've already convinced you that this is a better car to own than the T5 that I convinced you on yesterday. Anyway, we're going to go down to the next fast bit and we're going to do that again. And uh, one of two things is going to happen. Either I'm going to go drop this car at home and pick up the T5 and meet Joseph Lloyd from Lloyd Vehicle Consulting and we're going to have a coffee and make a video or I'm going to be in a bush, upside down, hopefully backwards, hopefully on fire. So stay with me and we'll find out. I am genuinely now stuck behind an L200. <laughs> I wasn't joking. That must have looked terrifying to him because I've still got one headlight crossed out with masking tape. The car looks evil as, and I like that. So I've done the John Player Special. I've not yet reviewed this car. John Player Special down one side, Evil Volvo down the other. And after the show, I've already fallen out with the John Player side. So I think what I'm going to do, when I can be asked, because it's hard work in cold weather, is remove the John Player stickers and just go all out Evil Volvo. I've also recently changed my number plates to black ones, which I know are illegal, but what's the policeman, person, man, lady, woman, man, police person going to do? pull me over for illegal number plates. I'm sorry, but they've got more things to be doing right now. And I can tell that they've got more things to be doing right now by the dramatic increase in sirens that have been going past my house in the last six months. Something is going on. A lot more people are dying than normal. It's, all, it's just all noise. It's all noise. There's 50. Missed the gear change, doesn't matter. doing a garden. See, that's the thing, you've got to slow down straight away. Unless you live like in Scotland where you've got proper roads, but then they're always wet. See, he's going to pull out. And he's got a learner badge on. It's pretty awkward, isn't it? If you're on your driving test and a black, evil, murdered out Volvo 850 shafts you from behind. Do you think that would be a fail? <laughs> be an internet fail, wouldn't it? Maybe I should film that. Jeff goes out and has deliberate dash cam crashes. Right, so let's review the car. Um, it's a 900 pound Volvo 850 that I whipped the catalytic converter off and sold for 350 quid and then I spent about 600 quid on modifying it. This car owes me, give or take, about 1500 quid because I tinted the windows and I did a few bits and bobs. Um, 
it needs a wheel bearing, it needs a service, it needs the lambda light resetting, and that's about it. The steering wheel is a little bit shonky, it's sort of peeling off the top of the steering wheel. It needs a good clean inside, it's got these beautiful furry seats on it, um, which are super comfortable, and it's just generally a really fun car. So, although yesterday I was fully in love with my T5, in many ways this is just a bit more me. It really is. I, I, I like that it's a bit shonky. I like that it's a manual. I like that it's a non-turbo because you can do stuff like I've just been doing. Um, it's got a lot going for it as like a fun little car to own. It's done roughly the same mileage as the T5. Actually, no, it hasn't. It's done less than the T5 because the T5's odometer stopped working at 165, and this is on 164. Um, I even like the story with this car. The story with this car, I don't know if I've ever properly told it. Found it on Facebook Marketplace. Again, it had been on Facebook Marketplace for weeks, and it was down in Reading, and I didn't have a way of collecting it, and I couldn't be bothered to go and get it. So when Spencer bought the MGZR off me in that Facebook auction that we did, he was coming past Reading. So I just said to him, look, you're coming up here anyway to collect the car. There was obviously two of them coming up. I said, why don't you just swing by Reading and pick up my Volvo for me? I'll pay for it, you just drive it. Just coming off of the M4, nearly there. Hello. Mm. The Volvo is picked up and on its way, baby! I'll tell you what, there is a wheel bearing out on this though. Mistakes were made. Mistakes were made. Well, I didn't even have to collect it. It got it got delivered to my door, which is brilliant. I'd like to raise the rear suspension because I don't think the car has got quite the stance that I want. It's looking a little bit low on the back, um, and we've decked out the front on the coilovers as much as we possibly can without chopping the springs. So that's that on this car. But even last night, as I was driving that T5 home, knowing that I'm going to need to spend some money on it, I was like. Why don't I just chuck that in a Christmas special? Let somebody else have the T5 and I'll stay with what I actually love, which is ridiculously low, slightly customized, non-turbo Volvo estates with manual gearboxes. Hashtag did this before with the race car. Right, I'm turning around in the exact same place that I turned around yesterday in the T5. So now I'm gonna do the exact same road. when you change it to second gear and I'm only doing 50 mile an hour. That's the thing with the turbos. Like with that T5, it doesn't have the kind of acceleration that, that knocks you out. So all of the fun is at the higher speeds. Yes, it's fantastic on the motorway because you can put your foot down and suddenly you're doing 110 mile an hour, which is illegal. I haven't in this video gone above, I don't think I've gone above 70 mile an hour. And you can tell from the way I am presenting this video that I am thoroughly enjoying my drive. And I'm on wet roads. Funny if the wheel falls off because it needs a wheel bearing though, wouldn't it? But hopefully there'll be someone filming behind me with a dash cam. And, that, and that's it. That, that's my review of, of this car. I think it's just, it's just ludicrously fun. Um, the engines, the non-turbo engines are well known to be less delicate than the turbos. We all know this. Um, the engine was never... Like it doesn't have the pickup, but when you get to four and a half thousand RPM, it doesn't, like that's where the fun is. And you can just hold it there. So that's four and a half thousand RPM now. I'm gonna wait for the road to straighten out and then I just pin the roll. I'm just leaving third gear. Only needs three gears, this car. Brakes aren't too bad either, actually, which is good. And they've been painted silver. Right, everybody's going down this road. So that, I think that's the end of my fun for now, because you've got to quit while you're ahead um, with stuff like this. You really have. This is where people go wrong. You know, you go back for that one last run. Uh, you do that one more take. And that's where you go wrong. I mean, how many stories are there of people that that just went for that one more. Let's do that one more, that one more take, that one more time. I always remember there's a guy who, um, there's a guy who wanted to set up a world record of, I think it was like a, like a rope swing, 
and he set up this pulley rope swing system in the mountains in America and um, and he did it he climbed on this rope swing and he did the, he, he swung across the valley and he did what was effectively you know I don't know Guinness world record breaking rope swing whatever it was and um, and that was that I had all the media for all and everything and then he went back I think it was something like a week or two weeks later to take down all his harnesses and all his ropes and um, and he couldn't resist there were no cameramen there there were no support crew or anything there were no safety nets and uh, he went for one last swing before he removed all his gear and it killed him so there's a lesson in there isn't there Engine braking as well, which again I don't have with the T5. Um, it's just—it's kind of pure. It's kind of natural. You're a teenager again in this car. You know, you're a teenager and you had a Ford Fiesta and you drove it like on the limit everywhere you went. because people do what I just did there. I was hovering, I, I wasn't changing up a gear and I wasn't accelerating, but what people do is they come flying down that straight bit and then someone pulls out and then there's a huge crash, it happens all the time. Uh, and you'll come past here and there'll be one car in the bush on that side and another one smashed to pieces on the other side. And you're just like, yep, happened again. Right, we'll do a little walk round of this car because I want to show you some of the changes I've made since the show that you haven't seen yet. Um, so I'm going to pull in just down here and I'll show you the car. And that concludes my uh, my fast drive and slow chat. Well, that was quite a fast chat, wasn't it, this time? Fast drive and fast chat in a non-turbo Volvo. Excellent stuff. What a lot of fun.